you would not be in the starting rotation to start the weekend? And just what were those conversations like? Uh, I think it was the beginning of the week. Me and Coach Hobbs had a conversation. He was telling me that he's moving Hunter to Friday. I'm coming out of the pen, which I have no problem with at all. Hunter's the best Friday guy in the league, so I know it was going to be good either way. For for Hunter, there were a lot of big defensive plays behind you the first couple, three innings. How key were those to you and in, in the outing that you had? Yeah, I mean, the double play in the first was, of course, the. I mean, that was the biggest play of the night because, you know, getting out of the first with a zero, and even though we didn't score in the bottom of the first, it's just – it's good momentum for for me, not not just so much the lineup. It was it was good to get a zero, get get a little confidence, you know, get to the you know middle of the order to where I can kind of settle in. Did you feel like you had to be really good today with the way that Vale was throwing through those first three innings? Uh, really, I don't I don't pay attention to what the other pitchers do, and I just go out and try to do my job. Um, I honestly don't. I'll I'll go and watch the highlights of the game because I didn't even watch the game until the the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning. Um, we just I like to stay locked in. I think most of our starters do it, and um, so I like it. And then for Tavian, what was Vale doing well that first time through the order, and, and what did you guys do well to turn it around in the fourth? Um, I think he was he was pitching to his strengths pretty well. Um, fastball had a lot of carry. Um, I think he was he was paying on the top of the zone pretty well. Um, but we kept battling him, battling, battling him, and got a uh, a big swing. So, got him, got him out the game pretty early, and went from there. Hunter, how important do you think it was for you to notch a quality start in the first SEC game of the year? Yeah, it was big. It was it was good for for confidence going into you know next weekend for me. But um, I mean, it was it was good. It was fun. Just got to keep building from it. And then Hagen, did you think you'd be on tap for a nine out save tonight? <laughs> uh, actually, I talked to Coach Childs before the game. He said. Uh, we go six. I mean, you go three innings or one inning, just depending on how he does. So I was ready for whatever. I think the thought maybe they had was that you could, could possibly work twice in a weekend or whatever. How, how suitable do you think that would be for you? I think I could do it. I just got to get some rest, recover, get some treatment, and I'll be good to go. And what did you think about the, the switch, you know, moving from Sunday to Friday and, you know, the importance of the SEC opener? Yeah, it was cool. Of course, uh, when I first got told that, so I came out of the game last Sunday and I was like through five with like 70, 77 pitches or something like that. And I was with the shape of my hand. I was like, no, uh-uh. <laughs> and uh, he, then he told me, he's like, congratulations, you're going you're to get the start on Friday. And I was like, that's the only thing you could have said right now that would be, make this okay. Um, but no, it was, I, I was excited and I was, you know, excited for the challenge to, to start on Friday night and we'll go from here. Tavian, on the play in center field that you you know ran up against the wall, did you did you feel like you made the catch, and or did you know what was going on in that situation? Just kind of talk us through what was going on in your head. Uh, yeah, I thought I caught it. Um, I knew I had it, had it off the bat, I had it in my glove, um, hit the wall pretty hard. Um, honestly, I didn't even know I picked the ball up off the ground. I thought it was in my glove the whole time, but yeah, it was close. Are you feeling okay? It looked like you were kind of grimacing when you threw that ball. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm all good. It's a hard wall out there. Tavian, I got to know, with uh, Arkansas and Kansas playing basketball tomorrow, uh, what, where, where do your allegiances lie? <laughs> um, whoever wins, I hope they win it all. I'm going to leave it at that. Hey, for the two pitchers, Auburn, I think they had one of the top three or four batting averages in the SEC coming into this. What was the key to limiting them the way you did today? I think they only had six hits. Yeah, it was it was more you just got to – they're a lineup that sits and counts. You know, if it's you know oh oh, they're sitting heater. If they're down, you know oh two, they're going to sit soft. So you kind of, and, and I mean, if you're down two oh, you got to be able to land you know off speed pitches for strikes because they're sitting the heater. So it's it's you just got you got to be able to pitch and you know you got to just compete and throw quality pitches. Yeah, I thought Hunter did a really good job attacking the zone with all his pitches. So set a good tone. When I was watching the game from the dugout, I could tell he was throwing strikes and they weren't doing much off him. So. All I have to do is throw strikes out there. How grateful were you two that they moved the game time up by, by two and a half hours? Is it easier to, to pitch during the daytime like this than it would have been tonight? Yeah, it was it was definitely nice, but um, <coughs> I, I would have liked to pitch under the lights. But, uh, I mean, really when you're pitching, you don't know how cold it is. Like, I kept asking them, the coaches, they were jogging up and down the stairs trying to get their blood flowing. I was like, is it cold? And uh, they're like, yeah, it's real cold. Um, but it, it didn't bother me. 
Hey, did it help that you kind of experienced this in the postseason last year that you did this kind of role? Yeah, I think it helped a little bit, just the mindset thing. Last year I got to experience it. A bunch of older guys in the bullpen last year, so they helped me out during the end of the year.